Alright, so is Spider-Man a skydiver? It's a question that nobody's been asking except for me. Oh, Spider-Man's not a skydiver. He swings on webs, stupid. Oh yeah? He's always jumping off of something high and flying through the air. He has a parachute, he has a tandem drogue, and he has a wingsuit. Oh, it's not so stupid now all of a sudden, huh? Oh, it's starting to make sense now, huh? I'm Jamal, I've been skydiving for four years, I've been body flying for four years, and I'm gonna use my experience level to go in on Spider-Man doing skydiving stuff. All right, so the body flying. So before I got into skydiving, I used to think like a lot of people think that since you fall in any way, you can kind of do whatever you want. You wanna do a front flip, you just do a front flip. You wanna do a back flip, you do it. You wanna go side to side or you wanna dive, you just think about it and it happens, right? And that's absolutely not how things go. Kind of like how people go indoor skydiving and think, well, I'm gonna do flips and all this stuff on the first day. It's not gonna happen. It takes years of training to figure out how to fly your body. Depending on your weight and your body type, once the wind gets up to a certain speed, you can use that wind to move around. Certain movements do certain maneuvers. The problem is if you get thrown into a whole bunch of wind or you falling and you don't know how to fly, the wind is just gonna beat you up and do whatever it wants to you. So an example was me on my sixth skydive. I was told to do a right turn or a left turn, I think, and I could do the turn, but I couldn't figure out how to stop it. It was very scary. I started spinning around and if it wasn't for my instructor being there, I would have just kept spinning out of control. And that skydive is actually what got me into indoor skydiving because I wanted to be a better skydiver and not have that happen again. There's four main positions in body flight, belly flying, back flying, sit flying, and head down. There's little maneuvers inside of each flight position. And once you get through all the positions, learning those little in-between movements in each orientation, will start putting things together so you can fly all around. So just for example, belly flying is neutral and stable. There's left and right turns, forward and backward, up and down, side sliding, going uh, left to right. Back flying, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man could get a good grasp on that too. It's kind of the same thing as belly flying, it's just on your back. So the same movements are kind of mirrored upside down so that you can fly on your back. Sit flying, he's always in like a Spider-Man sit position pose anyway so i'm pretty sure he used to flying in the air like that head down he probably wouldn't understand uh unless he really did some training for it but he's spider-man so i figure he would have a pretty good base on at least belly flying and back flying and maybe a little bit of sit you can even see that he does a lot of tracking tracking is when you put your hands back kind of like in a dive position and it brings you forward spider-man does that a lot it's very cool very fun you can see a lot of times he turns a tracking run into a dive so uh Good job, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's suit is super tight, kind of like the tight suits that we wear to fly to an indoor skydiving. It was good in this particular movie to see his suit flapping a little bit. It is something that kind of always bugged me a little bit. No matter how tight your suit is, if you're falling through a 100 mile an hour wind, it's gonna flap. So I'm glad they put that type of CG in there. Spider-Man jumping off of stuff that's high is something that everybody would do if they became Spider-Man. And I know this because there's a whole genre of YouTube videos about Spider-Man jumping off the highest point in every video game. He does it in the video games, he does it in the movies. There's a lot of video games where you could go to the highest point and jump off. Sometimes he would die, I think. Sometimes right before he would get to the ground, he would shoot an automatic web and start swinging. Sometimes he would hit the ground and do like a superhero landing and just shockwave crush the ground. I think it's just a cool idea of being able to jump from something high with no parachute and being able to survive that. Like what's the highest thing in this video game that I could find? because I'm going to jump off of it. Spider-Man is good at it though. He's always doing a perfect swan dive. So the parachute. Spider-Man's parachute kind of operates like a round parachute. You don't really see round parachutes anymore except for like the military. They have a real limited steering. They're kind of just made to come out and save your life, really. You might land and break a few bones or something, but you'll be all right, you'll be alive. In sports skydiving, you usually see a square canopy. That's the most common now. They have toggles so you can pull down and direct your steering. You can flare and slow down your descent when you get to the bottom of the landing so you don't hurt yourself when you land. By the way, uh, Spider-Man falling into this lake wrapped up in his parachute is nightmare fuel. Spider-Man also has a drogue. Drogue is usually something you see on a tandem skydive. It's that little tiny parachute that's trailing behind the skydivers. Spider-Man is just fancy. He has a drogue that's shaped like his spider emblem. It's a flex. So a drogue is mainly there for three reasons. It's going to slow down your rate of descent. It's going to keep you stable while you're falling. And it's going to deploy the main parachute. That's definitely some skydiving stuff right there. So Spider-Man has a wingsuit. Spider-Man's very first appearance, I think, he had those underarm web things that was kind of like a part of his costume. But now in the movies, it's back and it has a real purpose. And as far as I can tell, Spider-Man is a good wingsuit flyer. 
Wingsuiting is kind of like an expert level type of thing. If you're getting into skydiving, you can't just jump straight into wingsuit stuff. You have to have a certain amount of training, you have to have a certain amount of jumps, and you have to have a certain license to even start wingsuit. So Spider-Man is way closer to skydiving than most superheroes in the superhero world. Except for Black Widow. Black Widow's a skydiver too. I'm gonna probably do a video on that next. Now, I'm not saying Spider-Man is a skydiver, but what I'm saying is if he wanted to get into it, he wouldn't need that much training. He pretty much already knows what he's doing. So Spider-Man, if you need some training, I can help you out. First training session is free, since you helped save the world and everything. But after that, I'm gonna have to start charging you, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one.